Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss some of the very important points related to the upcoming GATE exam, that is GATE 2021. Now, here we are going to have some changes in the exam pattern as well. So, firstly, I will talk about the changes in the exam pattern. And after that, I will provide you the information about the syllabus for GATE physics exam and for the general aptitude section that what uh, is the syllabus we are having that is officially okay now here first of all let's talk about the type of questions and what are the changes we are going to have this time in the exam so here if you are going to observe this section this point clear pattern of questions may include multiple choice questions multiple select questions and numerical answer type questions so here uh, in the previous years, we were not having the multiple select questions. Okay, this one, it was not there. But this time, you will also have the multiple select questions in your exam. And this is the change, okay, you will have this time in GATE 2021. Also, guys, what we mean by multiple select questions? So, multiple select questions means, let's say you are having a question given to you and there are some of the options. There can be four options given to you. In that particular question so out of like those four options only one can be correct two can be correct three can be correct or four can be correct as well so there are like more than one options can be correct okay that means multiple select uh, questions clear so there you have to be careful about it that which option is going to be the correct one whether more than one or they are just two options or three options and when you will select all the correct options in this type of question, you will answer them that le let's say option C and option D are correct. Clear? And you have given the answer option C and option D both. So you will get the full marks for that question. But let's say you have only answered option C, you didn't mention option D. Okay, then it will not be considered. Clear? So you have to uh, consider when you are answering it finally that whatever options are correct, you should include all of them to get the marks for that particular question in the multiple select questions. Okay, so mention all the right answers, all the right options. Clear? And in the previous years, even we had the MCQs and NAD type questions. So they are same as the previous years, but the change is in this point. Okay, that is these questions you will have this time. And other are just the general points. Also, one more thing which most of the students uh, ask and they are going to have a qu query about it. That is, what is the age limit for the GATE exam? So guys, it is mentioned here. There is no age limit to appear for GATE 2021 examination. Clear? So there is no age limit. You can uh, just fill the form even like... Uh, you don't need to worry about the age limit, clear? Uh, so I hope like rest of the things will be clear. One more important point, let's just talk about this one as well. And these are the, these are the points like related to the most frequently asked questions about the exam. So GATE 2021 scorecard will remain valid for three years from the date of announcement of results, clear? So these are some of the important points and mainly the change in the exam pattern that's something we have considered here okay this is the change and i have explained you that what we mean by multiple select questions another thing is multiple choice questions only one option will be correct in them nat type that means fill in the blanks you have to completely solve the questions uh what whatever answer you are getting let's say 0 0.25 so you have to write that you have to mention that because your exam is gonna be online or computer based so you will type it clear uh, oh one more thing uh, so in most of the online exams we are going to have the mouse which you can use okay but you are not allowed or supposed to use the keyboard clear so just go through that part as well in the instructions given to you okay and uh, try to use the mouse instead of using something else from that given system clear so guys i hope these points will be clear to all of you now let's talk about the syllabus for the general aptitude part, let's observe the syllabus first and then after that we are just going to talk about the physics as well. So I'm just quickly going to show you the slides. Okay, have a look at this. 
clear so those who are not familiar with the general aptitude slippers they can go through and they can get to know about it so first point is verbal aptitude type questions you can have related to english grammar vocabulary and like some points which are mentioned here then quantitative aptitude clear then analytical aptitude and a spatial aptitude so yeah all these like even they have described the points in a way like they have mentioned the subhead uh, subheadings or subtopics within uh, quantitative aptitude verbal aptitude analytical aptitude and a spatial aptitude clear you can observe it well and accordingly you can do your preparation and then in on this like uh, in the same pdf they have provided us some sample or example questions too but mainly we are just going to observe the slabus right now done now let me just show you the physics labels so for physics it's here okay first of all mathematical physics part and one more thing guys like uh, the questions you are going to have or most of the topics even if you will observe them you will find they are exactly same as csi or net and gate exams uh like uh, in gate and csir net so if somebody was preparing for csir net earlier and now they are going to prepare for gate exam as well they have already completed most of the topics from the syllabus okay they will not have to put so much efforts now they will have some preparation already done just a little bit like you need to observe the type of questions from the previous years practice nit type questions too because that is something different in this exam and we are not having in csi or net exam yet okay and uh, now this time in gate 2021 you are going to have the msq type questions too so be careful about those things another thing is in nit type questions okay be careful about the instruction given there like if they have mentioned you need to write the answer up to two decimal places so be careful about that and accordingly answer the question okay have a look at the syllabus for different different subjects like mainly for physics but yeah the subjects we are having here okay okay i'm just showing you so that if somebody is not familiar with the exact syllabus they will get to know about it clear quantum mechanics then thermodynamics and statistical physics then atomic and molecular physics if you want to give uh, some more time okay uh, to observe the topics in a particular section you can take your time okay you can just observe that solid state and most of the topics are exactly same in uh, the gate and the csir net syllabus electronics nuclear and elementary particle physics okay and it's done so guys this was something about your gate 2021 exam so, uh, syllabus for uh, physics clear as well as the change in uh, changes in pattern and all these important points so i hope it's going to be helpful for most of you guys okay if you were not familiar with all these points and now at the end i'm just going to tell you about an academy plus subscription and important courses but guys if you are new on this channel that is mission at physics exam then you can subscribe the channel by clicking on subscribe button below this video because i will keep on providing you many 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 important videos here for your upcoming gate exam as well as csi or net exam and all other similar exams we are going to have related to them as well also till now i have uploaded so many videos on this channel you can check them you can subscribe the channel okay and click on the bell icon too also guys you can share the videos with your friends as well if you are finding them helpful the videos will even be helpful for uh, your friends okay so thank you so much everyone for uh, watching this video till the end also guys if you want to prepare for the upcoming gate physics exam or csi or net physics exam with the guidance of all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation then you can take the unacademy plus subscription also whenever you will take the subscription by using and by applying the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here okay 
by using and by applying this referral code you will get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount you need to write the referral code as it is no space in between the spelling should be same that's how it has been mentioned here also guys many new courses are going to start soon on unacademy okay uh, so yeah you can take the subscription right now if you want to attend all these important courses from the starting okay and many some of the courses i have mentioned here similarly we are going to have many 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 more courses by all the top educators on unacademy plus so if you will take the unacademy plus subscription all these courses together will help you a lot to prepare for your upcoming exams also guys one more thing i would like to tell you here that is if you are going to take the unacademy plus subscription or any day if you are not able to attend the live class of any course then you will have the recordings available to you in the app in the unacademy learning app okay and you can check out the recordings of the session and that's how you will not miss anything clear so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end okay thank you